Hey everybody! Oh. Hi! We have retired! And yeah, back. And we are lost. <laughs> and afraid. Wow. I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna have to pick a direction and walk in it. Why didn't you drive? Let's go this way. Cool. Okay, we're marching, we're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance, could it be? A game? <gasps> Jim a and big burnt-out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? Alright, it'll do. Parking in rear. Ooh, the bar is small and dimly lit. Empty. The crack of pool ball sound in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Mm, I'm Neil. Oh! I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, uh. which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing in sports. Oh, no. <laughs> the brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I suddenly cheer on my favorite team. Yay! <laughs> Hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Oh. Several in this people several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike. Although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine gun sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. It's kind of pretty. Hey, Sailor. Um, she seems kind of. Yeah, I think she should do the lady. Yeah, go for it. Go for okay. It. Hey, Sailor. <laughs> oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Fresh. Hi, Mary. Come here often? Oh no, I actually just moved into this part of town today. I'm Notharian, by the way. Mm. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred oh, no. team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh. Oh, I love that game. And also, I love that game. I, I love someone who knows their way around all. Okay. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh, hmm? Bye, Galadry. Yeah, why not? More friendly. I almost reluctantly single the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Mary, you have to get some oh, more guy she come me now. Hey, sailor. So, what do you want to know? What's your deal? Think of the game. What's the latest gossip around the gossip? Yeah. But I love the sports ball. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, they really are tossing those balls around, huh? <laughs> okay, so... It's not so... Uh, no. Ah. Truth told, I wasn't really paying attention. I just saw a solid ball joke and went for it. That's respectable. So what else can you tell me about this part of town? Hey! It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want a real, a little, a real, a little life with white picket fences, that, this is the place to do it. But every town has a secret, you know? Oh, she takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Oh. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, maybe some other time. Come on. Yourself, sailor. I'm not a sailor. <laughs> Mary saunters off, sending her sights on the newest bar patrons. So funny, because I really think that's how it would go with you. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I've come for. Oh my gosh, we just got a free drink out here. Yeah. <laughs> After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! It's the oh, brooding shit. man from the coffee spoon. Oh, he sits alone that. sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. He looks like a bad boy. Yeah. Good. Enjoying the game? <laughs> I am now that we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I know, I it know. Could be. I know. I'm just, we'll see. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win slash loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close. We, with both sides playing their hardest to win. In the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender to pour us two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. Close now. The name's Robert. Thanks! I'm no theory! I... You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Robert chuckles. Oh, oh. Ah. She's a beach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll still f never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this hey. place? No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Ah. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. <laughs> oh. Fella or beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most of them. <clears throat> you like shots? Mm. Ooh, shots fire! <laughs> <laughs> I love shots. Thank God. <laughs> He's a bad boy. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He right. has one to me. Use two to your health. We take the shots. That's a big shot. Guys. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to hold hey. Wait. I think this is what making friends is. Okay, now Therian. This guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs> uh, oh, man, tattoo. Leather jacket. Not, maybe not his good looks. Yeah. His hand tattoo. I like your tattoo. What does it mean? Hmm. It's. It reminds me. Aww, well. <laughs> I wait for him to elaborate. Seems he's done talking. Man, this guy is mysterious. And cool. <laughs> Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bar chief for another round. Who's paying for all these? <clears throat> what are you doing here tonight? <laughs> Your daughter kicked me out of the house. My daughter kicked me out of the house. Not like forever. She was just having a sleepover with her friends. <laughs> Family type, huh? Single dad. Mm. Single. Mm. He gets up. I be right back. Got the powder in my nose. Oh. oh I'm gonna get up. He was there. So yeah. He... Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha! Mm. Ah! Getting in the skeleton. Work. I guess so. <laughs> I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. A guy like that thinks I'm cool, but I really must be. Or pity. Grab Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. <laughs> I'm going to go home. You heading my way? Oh my. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. <laughs> I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Hey! Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. 
There's a vampire that lives a few houses down. <laughs> Real freaky type, purple eyeliner. Who's that? I don't know, he calls himself Nosferatu. <laughs> we get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop, and he turns to me. <clears throat> I don't kiss and tell, Natharian. Huh. So are we doing this, or what? Um... What? Are we <laughs> gonna bone? You know... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you know, did you want to come inside or not? Ooh. A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. No, you don't. You have too much facial hair. Say <laughs> <laughs> mm, no, mm. thank you. That was really came on real strong. This, might, this guy might kill you. Uh, I better call it a night. Catch you around. Mm. Mm, sure. Disappointing. I head home, head buzzing with whiskey. Right. You what lie. did he mean? Are we gonna do this or not? He was gonna fuck. <laughs> I plop down on the couch and I'm asleep before I even get plop a chance to take my dick. shoes off. <laughs> she goes, Hwah! Yeah. Oh, jeez. Ah! Uh -huh. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Craig. Oh shit, which one's Craig? Uh, oh, oh, that was the that was his buddy. Was, um, okay, yeah. um Ride and shine, early bird. Still wanna work out? This is Craig, by the way. Oh. How'd you get your number? Holy crap! It's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? <laughs> Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Oh. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> Must have winked back out. I check my phone again. Hey, bud. Still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. Uh, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. I'm gonna go to the gym. Hey, my man. I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. Oh, Jesus. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing. Meet me at the gym. <laughs> the Iron Church. Da, da, da. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Oh my god, his Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kinda gym appropriate, and head out. So where are her friends? The neighborhood is quiet and serene this morning. The music is not. <laughs> Bird is chirp, and the grass is still wet with dew. You're already Surprisingly, right. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out front, stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves enthusiastic. Oh. Hey, bro. Good morning. No baby. Baby sleep at 6 a.m. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. Hmm. No time for you ready to kick some butt? Some tushy tush? Help. <laughs> Help. Gotta stay posy, dude. Oh, gross. I'm here to party. Bro! That's the spirit, my dude. Bro! Bro! Brett! Bro! Yeah. Oh my gosh. And we will start this gym adventure yeah, next time. That's good. This is this is a good place to stop. Yeah. Give give our buddy out there and chance to rest up. Exactly. Bye! Right, bye. bye everybody! Bye.